bringing you the latest news from Burlington County. This is the Burlington County Times Update with Trish Hartman. Good afternoon, I'm Jared Finkel with your latest local news for Tuesday, December 30. For the first time in more than 15 years, the first night out of Burlington County celebration will not be held in downtown Mount Holly. The event was held each year to give families a way to celebrate their new year with non-alcoholic activities. There simply wasn't enough money or volunteers this year. Main Street Mount Holly, which runs the event, is hoping to try again next year. Mount Laurel Police have released surveillance photographs of a man suspected of stealing purses at Panera Bread. Take a look at these photos. Police say the suspected pickpocket is accused of taking purses on both November 14 and December 21. He quickly used the victim's credit cards to make purchases afterward. Anyone with information should call Mount Laurel Police at 856-234-1414. We moved to Southampton, where a Burlington City man didn't quite get the ride he asked for. Kurt Smith asked New Jersey State Police for a ride to a convenience store, but got a ride to prison instead. Smith admitted reporting a disorderly person at the Red Lion Motel. Police said they charged him with filing a false crime report because they, really, because they believed he really just wanted a ride to the store. He was arrested at the Red Lion Motel where he made the call. On this week's Cook This, Chef Shireen introduces you to a perfect New Year's appetizer. Hi guys, I'm Shireen with Cook This. I'm making for you a candied pecan camembert. I love French brie and that's what camembert is. Just take it out an hour before a cheese tray, any cheese appetizer, because you want it to come to room temperature for its full flavor. Cut the heat, pull it off the surface, and we're going to let it sit for about eight minutes. That way we make sure the consistency is perfect. We want it to be pliable, candy, but pliable and easy to pour. Warm them up. There are pecans. Just let them hang out and sit right in there. All you want to do is just drizzle it right over top. Look at that. Beautiful. You can watch the full episode online. <music> Bordentown basketball lost the J. Michael Tucker Memorial Tournament Championship game, but they are learning from the experience. Our Mark Zamaro has more. The Bordentown High School girls basketball team can assure itself that games like this will build character. The Scotties scrapped with a much bigger team from Mainland and took a few lumps in a 43-25 loss to the Mustangs in the championship game of the J. Michael Tucker Memorial Tournament. But the Scotties are ready to turn the page and learn from the loss. Yeah, I feel that it definitely opened up our eyes a bit, saying this is how much pressure we can get and that we need to really work on handling the pressure. I don't know. I think we went in there like thinking they were a strong and really good team compared to like some of the other teams we've played. But I think that we just went out there and we tried to have a really solid defense, if anything. Like we went out there thinking like we need to stop them on defense and then we'll just let the game do the rest. Pagnani led the Scotties with a team high nine points. Bordentown led by a point after the first quarter, but Mainland rallied with a tough press defense. They played man to man through the whole game. And that's what we need to work on, and we need to work on more pressure on us. Because the last couple of games we didn't have a lot of pressure, but we need more pressure. Schenk knocked down eight points to give her 21 for the two-day tournament, and she earned a spot on the all-tournament team. I wasn't expecting it, to be truthfully honest. I just like the game. I just come to play. The Scotties suffered their first loss of the season, snapping a four-game winning streak. Bordentown's defense was strong. The team knows they just need to be a little better on offense. I feel that we work so hard on defense that we got to that offense. We just need to work on finishing. Finally, the Burlington County Freeholders say goodbye to outgoing board member Joe Howarth. Uh, people that work for us uh, are just awesome people. So, um, as I said in my, in my previous comments, uh, that's what I'll miss the most. I'm, I'll miss those those relationships. I'll miss coming up and talking to those people. But I'm still going to be able to talk to them and hang out with them and see them, but uh, on an official basis. And, uh, and uh, God bless Burlington County because it is the number one county in New Jersey. You can find these stories and more at theburlingtoncountytimes.com. You can follow me on Twitter for your latest local news. I'm Jared Finkel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.